Welcome to the Creative Puxa. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a wet glass effect in the Fendi photo. You can use this wet glass effect to add an interesting aesthetic or mood to an image. It works well with cityscapes, landscapes, and portrait images. First, go to File Open and select the picture of the woman. With the image selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the picture. Name the duplicated layer Blur and turn off the background layer. Select the Blur layer. Click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel. Select the Curves Adjustment. I want to slightly darken this image a little. Take the point on the left and slide it slightly to the right. Then take the point on the right and drag it down slightly. In the Layers panel, place this Adjustment layer inside of the Blur layer. Now, click the Live Filters icon in the Layers panel. Next, select the Gaussian Blur and check the Preserve Alpha box. If you don't, then the edges will also be blurred. Set the radius to 5 pixels and make sure the Gaussian Blur layer is inside the Blur layer. After that, go to File Place. Select the picture of the water dew on glass. Hold shift and drag the picture across the document so that it covers it. With the water glass layer selected, go to the layers panel and set the blend mode to hard light. Next, go to the adjustments icon in the layers panel and select the curves adjustment. Drag this adjustment inside of the water glass layer. Select the point on the left and set the y axis to 0.05. Add a second point close to the point on the left. Set the X axis to point 136 and the Y axis to point 135. Next, add a point on the center of the curve. The X axis of this point is 0 0.501 and the Y axis is 0 0.495. Then select the point on the right and drag it down slightly. The x-axis of the point is 1 and the y-axis is 0.937. Your points may be different depending on the exact look you want to achieve. In the Layers panel, click the Add Pixel Layer icon to add a new layer. With the new layer selected, grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. In the Swatches panel, make sure the fill color is black. We're going to create the look of water streaks on the glass. Take the brush and draw a straight line going down. Make a few of these straight lines and vary their sizes. To increase the brush size, press the right bracket key. Press the left bracket key to decrease the brush size. After you've created the lines, go to the Layers panel and set the blend mode of this layer to Erase. Then drag the layer with the lines beneath the glass layer. With the line layer selected, go to the Filters menu. Select Distort Ripple. Set the intensity to 8. Then in the Layers panel, lower the opacity of the line layer to about 30%. Now let's create the wet glass effect on a cityscape image. Go to File New and select the picture of the cityscape. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the picture and label the duplicated picture Blur. Next, go to the Layers panel and click on the Adjustments icon. Select the Levels Adjustment. Set the Black level to 7% and the Output White level to 90% to make the picture slightly darker. After that, go to the Live Filters icon in the Layers panel and select Gaussian Blur. Check the Preserve Alpha box. Then set the radius to 2 pixels. Make sure the Gaussian Blur layer and the Levels Adjustment layer is inside the Blur layer. Now, go to File Place and select the second picture of the water on the window. Select the 
In the Layers panel, set the blend mode of this layer to Hard Light. Next, click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the Curves Adjustment. Drag the adjustment inside of the water on the window layer. Take the left point and slide it up. Then take the right point and slide it to the left. After that, click the Add Pixel Layer icon in the Layers panel. Grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Make sure the black color is active in the Swatches panel. Take the brush and draw lines down the document the same way we did to create the other water streaks. Don't forget to vary the sizes of the lines. Once you've done that, go to the Filters menu. Then go to Distort Ripple. Set the intensity to 8 and drag the water streak layer beneath the water layer in the Layers panel. Now set the blend mode of the line layer to Erase. Then lower the opacity to 50%. And this is how you create a wet glass effect in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.